So I'm here at the Santos Trailhead. Uh, there's a paved bike trail on down this way. And then, of course, for the kids, they've got this little, well, uh, even adults, I guess, you can get in there. And uh, but just, a, just a fun place uh, for, for mountain biking and, uh, well, hiking. There's a Florida trail comes through here down this way, right next to the, uh, the paved bike trail. Uh, and then you've got this area here for, for biking. Uh, just a just a neat place, uh, pretty popular now. I remember when they first put it in before 800 people a day moved to Florida. You could come here and be by yourself. Now what I'm going to do today is a little bit different. Now you can get on the bike trails right here. You see the big sign there. Uh, that I've hiked those, uh, but I've never hiked. There's actually a trail that I'm not sure too many people know about, which is on the other side of this grassy uh, field here. And this is the this is what I call the upper parking lot for the Santos. Uh, and so we're just going to hike this uh, bike trail. And uh, it, I mean, it really is supposed to be for bikes. So you, if you're going to hike it, be careful that you don't get run over by a mountain bike. But uh, I like I said, I don't, I don't think too many people even know <laughs> this trail's over here because everybody comes in on the uh, the other side there. Uh, you can see there's there's the post uh, marking it. And uh, we'll get to get the next clip when, when we're on the trail. Uh, of course, they do say that now I, there's no overnight camping in, in here, which I don't see why you you couldn't do that. I mean, I mean, I don't. I'm, what I'm saying is I don't know why they don't allow it. But anyway, there is a campground down the way uh, next to the uh, bike trail, and also there's a bathroom facility uh, here uh, that they, they keep it pretty clean. Um, so you know you do have a bathroom. That's always important. Um, so let's just get on the trail and I'll show you what it looks like. So I did want to get the name of the trail here. Um, it says Devo Trail. Now you can see they don't say no hiking. They just have a bike and a, no horses. Uh, Cause there are Esquarian trails through here. But this is the beginning of the Devo Trail. And uh, I've never hiked this trail. So this would be fun for me. Uh, I've hiked all over uh, this area on the bike trails, but I honest to God, I, I forgot this trail was here. <laughs> you know, I, I, so it's, uh, and that's why I never hiked it. I just never got around to it. But uh, I have a feeling this will come out at the uh, the vortex probably. Now, if you if you're familiar with the area, the vortex is this uh, biking area. We might get some some video of that. Uh, it's a playground for bikes. Uh, I mean, you know, I. I can't do it because I'm crippled, but uh, boy, if I, as a young person, I'm telling you, uh, it's a it's a hell of a nice uh, place to just go crazy on on a bicycle with all kinds of obstacles and uh, stuff to go over. You know, you get and catch air off of stuff. Uh, maybe we'll get get some on the video with that. But you can see what the trail's looking like, man. I tell you, what a beautiful day. I had to get out and hike today. I mean, this was just it was a given. I woke up and I said, man, I'm gonna do that Santos Trail. Right here, and uh, that, uh, that's another thing, you know, that you might, if you're familiar with Central Florida or 441, uh, there's a metal recycling place just down the road. And what I do is uh, I have a can crusher at my house, and I just crush all those aluminum cans. And uh, you can take them there, and, that, and you know, I always make a day out of stuff, right? Uh, you get get a little bit of money. I got like three dollars, three dollars and sixty cents for a bunch of aluminum cans, but otherwise, you know, they just go to the dump right I mean so I I it makes me feel good to do the recycling and then also uh, it makes me feel good to get a little bit of cash for them I mean the guys even know me you're in and out in no time most of the time unless somebody's making a big drop uh, ahead of you and uh, anyway so this is kind of what the trails looking like now isn't this neat see this is the thing I like about these Florida trails you know around uh, all around the area see how it's winding around when they cut these in you know it's not a straight straight path um so what this is going to be a lot of fun there's a lizard on the tree i, I don't know if i got him on the video or not we have the lizards <laughs> i wish we had the iguanas i i, I watch uh, dave rubin on on youtube and uh he he says there's a bunch of iguanas down where he is i've never seen one up here in central florida but uh that doesn't mean they're, they're not here i just never seen one i don't know maybe it's just a little bit too cold up here for them but uh you can kind of see what the trail's looking like. Let's, we'll get another clip if uh, if the terrain changes. And uh, 
boy that is that is beautiful and thank god we got this so close to my house it's insane I, I i i keep still finding i mean i can't believe i'm still finding stuff to hike around here and it, everything's within a half hour of my house now i've got some uh some new heights planned we're going to be venturing out uh into some 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 new areas uh much further away uh, and start getting on some other uh, uh, some other parks. Uh, I met a fellow hiker the other day, and uh, he was telling me about uh, there's a couple of really beautiful places that he says he loves, and he's a, he's a big time hiker too. So anyway, uh, I thought maybe we would uh, exchange uh, phone numbers, but you know I think he was more into just hiking by himself like I do. All right, let's enjoy the day. All right, I wanted to get this for the bikers. Uh, that's the thing about these uh, these bike trails is that we've always got fun stuff. Man, I hope someday I'll be able to ride a bike again. I'd love to. Wouldn't that be fun just to come in? Let's see what the sign says here. This trail and feature was designed and built by the Eagle Scout Isaac Gee Cree, the help and support of the Weirsdale Troop. Boy, I tell you, I hope someday that we'll have the Boy Scouts again. But look at this. Let's just walk it. This will be fun. Boy, wouldn't this be great on a bicycle? Oh my goodness. Whew, I'll just go off to the side. <laughs> Don't want to fall and break my neck again. All right, so I just wanted to get that on the video. We kind of ventured out of the pine forest there and uh, we're kind of just into the trees. Now, one thing I don't like about this is you're really not, uh, you're not out, you know, on a, on, a, on a real hike, you know. I mean, you can hear the car noise, uh, so we're right right next to civilization just basically hiking through a slither of woods that are left here uh, for the community which is good I mean I'm glad we've got this but uh, I you know I'm, I'm, I'm more of you know I like being out where you can't hear a darn thing you know just to just the sound of, of birds chirping and uh, the crickets but uh, here you can you know you can tell you right next to a main road just kind of hiking through this sliver of forest but it's still a beautiful hike most definitely man would this be fun to mountain bike God, I hope I get better because this is uh, this is easy enough that I could handle it uh, when when I get to where I can ride a bike again. I mean, this this is this would be perfect for for an old fart like me. I, you know, I, I uh, my days of uh, doing aggressive mountain bike trails up and down with uh, you know all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, those days are over. But uh, hopefully, at least I'll get back to where I can ride something like this. This would be great. Okay, so. This is it. It just basically wound through the forest a little bit and then came back out. Not much of a, not much of a hike, but I tell you, for someone wanting to get back in the saddle on a mountain bike, this would be just perfect. And uh, you know, you could do it multiple times. Uh, so it just kind of wound right back to the to the parking area. So uh, I guess that'll be it for this video. This will be a quick, easy video. Uh, so we did the. Uh, that says wrong way, so we did do it the right way. <laughs> so, so he just basically came in right up here and then just hiked, hiked around it. All right, so the other trails I already got videos on, and uh, I'm going to be moving them all to Outdoors with Kirk on Rumble. So th over there, this is Outdoors with Kirk on Rumble, and it's good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida. Peace out.